Have you ever pondered about Veer Savarkar's role in the tapestry of Indian history? A man of fiery ideology, a poet, a writer, a revolutionary, Veer Savarkar left an indelible mark on India's struggle for freedom. His words and ideas, a beacon of resistance against colonial rule, continue to resonate in the heartbeats of the nation. Now, journey through the thought-provoking words of this pivotal figure. Brace yourself to delve into the profound world of Veer Savarkar and his enduring contributions to India's freedom and identity. A. Veer Savarkar once said, The sanctity of law can be maintained only so long as it is the expression of the will of the people. This profound statement encapsulates Savarkar's deep respect for democracy, viewing it as a pillar of a just society. He believed in the power of collective decision-making, where the law is a reflection of the people's will. He asserted that for a law to command respect, it must echo the voice of the people. His belief in democracy was strong and unwavering. In his own words, Hindutva is not a word, but a history. Not only the spiritual or religious history of our people, as at times it is mistaken to be, but a history in full. Veer Savarkar envisaged Hindutva as a broad cultural concept, an amalgamation of historical, social and cultural aspects that define the Indian subcontinent. It was a concept far beyond religious confines, a shared heritage and a collective identity. His concept of Hindutva was rooted deeply in India's diverse history. Savarkar stated, a nation is formed by a majority living therein. What did the Jews do in Germany? They, being in minority, were driven out from Germany. Savarkar's perspective on nationalism was deeply rooted in the majority-minority dynamics. He believed that the majority's sentiment greatly influences the identity of a nation, a view that often sparked intense debate. His words challenge us to ponder the delicate balance between majority rule and minority rights, a global issue that remains relevant today. His views on nationalism were firm and uncompromising. For Savakar, O motherland, sacrifice for you is like life. Living without you is death. These powerful words underscore his unwavering devotion towards his homeland. His concept of the motherland was not merely geographical, it was deeply emotional, spiritual even. It was the cradle of his culture, his identity, his very existence. This profound love and respect for the motherland fueled his fight for independence, forming the backbone of his ideology. His intense nationalism and love for the motherland were the cornerstones of his ideology. Savarkar defined a Hindu as he who considers India as his motherland, fatherland and holy land is a Hindu. This statement is a testament to Savarkar's broad-minded vision of Hindu identity, which transcended religious practices and encompassed a deep-rooted sense of belonging to the Indian nation. He saw nationality and faith as intertwined, inseparable parts of an individual's identity. His definition of Hindu identity was intertwined with his vision of Indian nationalism. The words of Veer Savarkar, filled with fiery ideology and intense nationalism, continue to resonate. His legacy, complex yet enduring, shapes conversations even today. His words continue to spark debate, reflecting the multifaceted nature of India's struggle for identity and freedom.